Hello everybody, it's me, Ghost Critic, and uploading all these videos is incredibly exhausting. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a busy week for me on YouTube. Uh, this is the third video of the week I've uploaded. I hope I'm not spamming your daily feeds too much, but there's so much that I want to show off and talk about. Um, Sunday was my comic book review video, my monthly comic book review video where I chose my five favourite comics from May and I chatted about five more as well so go check that one out. Yesterday I put up a comic book haul video from uh, the weekend. Yes, I went to Banbury and picked up a number of back issues to fill in gaps and such like. So check that video out and see what I picked up. And now it's Wednesday. And of course, Wednesday is new comic book day. So I'm here to show you everything that was on my pull list. And I may have picked up a couple of extras along the way. Because this week there was only four books actually on my pull list. I'll be showing them off in just a little bit. Because firstly, I have to shout out everyone who subscribed to me over the last seven days. Those people were Alec McLeod, You've Got Red On You 25, Jack Wan, Mega Wubba, Richard Larios, Il Hornet, Rod Blackthorn, Jack M707, Austin Muratori, Funny Things Incorporated, Darren Abyss, Il Fole Nero, and Robert Freebury. Thank you to all those people who have subscribed to me in the last seven days. If you're new to my channel and you hit the subscribe button over the next seven days, you will get a shout out in the next video. And if you do regular uploads, then I will put a link to your channel in the description bar down below. None of the people who subscribed to me over the last seven days unfortunately do any videos, so there's none to show this week, but it's great having you all joining me on my channel make sure you say hello down in the comments section and let me know your experience of comics and what led you to my channel that would be great to hear um, one more thing before I get on to show my comics and it's I need your opinion I need some advice regarding this and I hope I don't say this the wrong way and I mean no offense by it whatsoever um, so yesterday I was approached on Twitter, I think a lot of people got a, a tweet from this um, newly kind of fledgling comic book um, co-op type of thing that have been um, creating new comics and are going to be putting them out into the world sometime in October and they're asking comic book YouTubers um, if they would review some of their work and I said yes. Um, now I occasionally get these from time to time and I either forget about them and to those people who have asked me to do things in the past and I've forgotten to do it, I apologise profusely. Uh, I've only ever done one of these before and it's gone way, way, way back in, in my early years of YouTube and they actually sent me physical copies of, of the comics they um, created and I did a little review video about those comics they sent me. The, it's not so much the problem I have with it, but the trepidation I have is that most of these people that come to me are new to the industry and they're kind of dipping their toes in. So the quality of the work isn't what you are used to. And I want to promote their work and I want people to have a look at it. And obviously they want to use that... Um, kind of vehicle of my channel and other comic book YouTube channels to to promote what they're doing and I just if you've had this experience if you've done it before I'd like to know how you've done your reviews for them because obviously you can't relate them to what comic books are coming out now from the likes of DC Marvel there's no comparison there um, and from the people that have sent me, the, the quality of their work has been has ranged from, well, actually, that's quite good as a starting point to I've had some 
terrible kind of thing sent to me and I have forgotten about them very quickly, um, I'm sorry to say. Um, so it's difficult because I want to put out a positive review about their products um, when people come to me to do this. But if it's not that good, how how would you, how would you kind of, <laughs> I suppose, put a spin on it? Um, like I said, I don't think I've, that's come out the right way, and I mean no offence of it. You know, everyone has to start somewhere, you know, and everyone will whose first work isn't going to be the best thing that they've ever done, and they will grow as an artist or as a writer. Um, so, for me personally, I, I can, I'm kind of struggling um, to to do these kind of videos but the, this person who sent who sent me um, a kind of PDF file of one of their works I will do something for them and I said I'll try and get that up for this weekend so look out for that but just some advice some opinions whether you've had this happen to yourself before let me know how you've kind of worked around it down in the comments section below uh, thank you very much for your time for the people who do that Right, let's get on to those uh, gorgeous comic books that we have. And with DC, we have the whole rebirth marching on. And this is the week that I, the two books that I've decided to have a go with. Um, I've never picked them up in singles before. I've read very, actually very little of their kind of main work, whether it's in a trade or something like that. Though I kind of, I'm obviously familiar with the characters. They've been part of other storylines that I've read. But as I said, they're not characters I've ever collected in kind of single issue ongoing formats. So we're beginning with... Uh, Wonder Woman Rebirth. Never bought an ongoing Wonder Woman comic before, even when the new 52 came out. And I think a lot of people were very excited with the first part of that run. Um, so I thought, Wonder Woman, give it a go. It's um, Greg Rucker writing this, so it can't be all that bad. Um, so kind of looking forward to that. And the other DC a Rebirth title I'm getting is The Flash. The Flash is one of those characters, and I've said it in other people's comments when they've talked about this previously to me, is that Flash is one of those characters I've never really taken that seriously. Um, and maybe I should have, because, you know, when these big events do happen with DC, uh, The Flash always seems to be a kind of central, pivotal character to whatever kind of event is happening. Um, so he's obviously a very uh, important character within the DC universe. And I just thought, right, come on, let's see where he is at, at the moment, see if I can make sense of... Uh, this transition between the new 52 and our rebirth universe so and it's by a writer that I'm familiar with Joshua Williamson he's done uh, quite a bit of indie work that I've enjoyed up to a point let's see how well he does with the main character from the DCU Moving on to Marvel, one title from that, Charles Soule's Daredevil start of a new storyline, Blind Man's Buff um, again, I was chatting with Damien Sleepy Reader 666 in his comment section about the last kind of two issue storyline with Elektra, where I think we both felt it was kind of shoehorned in, it didn't really amount to a great deal, and it just kind of, for me, it was just sort of like setting up the next big bad for Daredevil to, to come up against, um, whether this will be. Um, hinted at in this issue we'll have to find out um, they do keep sneaking little bits in about how he's managed to um, make everyone forget who he actually is under the mask again um, his identity is a secret once more apart from foggy his um, his lawyer partner um, so but I've, I've enjoyed Charles Sewell's one I've, I've liked most of it, it's obviously very, very different to the Mark Wade Chris Samney run that we've just had, but still, I'm really enjoying that. 
from Dark Horse. We've got issue three of House of Penance, one of my favourite comics that's going on at the moment. It's a shame that this is only a mini series, but this is kind of creepy, so I mean, you can tell from the cover, this is of the horror kind of genre. It's very creepy, it, it's very um, scary in parts, and but it's just wonderful to behold. Um, Ian Bertram's artwork on this is fantastic and really kind of builds up a kind of atmosphere and ambiance to go with the kind of horror vibe vibe of this book so great stuff with that uh finally two books from image nice pricey ones uh this one is finishing it is headlopper issue number four um this is the final issue a trade of this is apparently coming out in october and he's hinted at that there may be another series of Headlopper coming in the new year 2017. So a big, big break um, where we may get back to um, to Norgal, our Headlopper. This I've always described as kind of Conan meets Adventure Time. It, it's very, it's very special. This is very special, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, finally, the anthology series brought together by Brandon Graham and Emma Rios. It is Island. This is issue number, where are we up to? Issue number eight. Um, this has become really less of an anthology series and more of um, a main story with a backup to it as well and lots of pages of art. But I do appreciate Graham and Rios' effort in um, bringing new-ish, not well-known artists who are experimenting with the comic book medium and, you know, bringing different new stories. It, I guess it's a bit like Dark Horse Presents in they're the kind of like tasters of, of what these artists and writers um, could potentially bring to the comic book industry. So it's nice to have something different uh, and interesting kind of out there to, to read from time to time. So thank you to Brandon Graham and Emma Rios for continuing to, to bring that for us. And they are my comics this week. Thank you very much for watching and listening to me blather on. Until next time, I will probably have a couple more videos coming up very soon. So hit the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up. And in the comment section down below, let me know what you picked up this week. Along with anything new that I might have missed. Uh, and just basically, are you having a good time with your comics lately? Take care. Bye bye.